We ready? Hold on one second. <clears throat> you good? All right, good. Uh, good evening. I'm Robert Conti, uh, Chief of the Metropolitan Police Department. Uh, this evening, about 7.30, just after 7.30 p.m., uh, members of the Metropolitan Police Department were in the area of the 7th, 7th and Longfellow Street Northwest. Uh, they heard multiple gunshots uh, being fired in this area. Uh, officers raced to the scene of 7th and Longfellow where they discovered six individuals who were suffering from gunshot wounds. Uh, those individuals were taken to area hospitals and so far what we know is that three of those individuals have been pronounced deceased. Three individuals are being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. So there's a total of six individuals that were shot, three deceased, three individuals in area hospitals being treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Shortly after the press conference, I'll be putting out an image of a vehicle. It appears to be a four-door, dark in color, full, um, Honda Accord vehicle, uh, where suspects, we believe the suspects in this vehicle exited and fired shots uh, into a crowd of individuals that were in the 600 block of Longfellow Street. Right now, I'm pleading for the community's help. I'm asking anyone who has information related to this uh, to please call us at 202 727 9099 or text us anonymously at 50411. Uh, I'm asking for the community's help to help bring this case to closure. My condolences to the families of the deceased. Uh, we're going through the process right now of making next to kin notifications, so I will not be able to identify uh, the individuals uh, who have, were shot this evening. Can you confirm whether these were adults um, and gender? Like I can tell you that they were all adults. Uh, right now, at least, uh, I can't give you the gender just yet uh, because, again, pending uh, family notifications. Did you say young adults, age 20s? They appear to be young adults. All of them or just the deceased? The deceased individuals. I don't have ages on the other ones just yet. Were any weapons recovered here at the scene? There is a weapon that's been recovered uh, on the scene. That's correct. Would that be a gun? Yes, that's correct. Do you believe that was the gun used in the shooting? Uh, we believe that there were multiple shots fired, and right now we're trying to assess what role this particular firearm played in this uh, in this shooting. One neighbor said it sounded like an exchange of gunfire. Can you comment on that? Whether you believe more than one uh, person was firing? We believe that more than one person was de were definitely firing. And like back and forth, or that's part of the investigation. Yes. Any other questions? Was, was there some sort of altercation, or did, they, did the whole process take place once they got out of the car? Or was there something that happened before they got out? Of no. The car? It appears that the process took place once they got out of the vehicle. Uh, they fired shots uh, down the block here. Uh, there's an MPD CCTV camera uh, that's close by, uh, which we will again be putting out the images uh, of this particular vehicle uh, that we have an interest in right now. So the motive is still being investigated. The motive is still being investigated. It appears that there were individuals who were hanging out in the block uh, and that these individuals, uh, for whatever reason, were targeted. Uh, someone fired, uh, these indiv some individuals fired shots at these individuals and we're not exactly sure why that is. We're asking uh, additionally uh, that any members of the public who have ring cameras uh, in this area or if you have uh, any particular uh, home surveillance camera uh, that faces the street, particularly on 7th Street uh, between Kennedy uh, all the way up uh, past Longfellow, we're asking you for, uh, to please check your uh, surveillance cameras. Again, we're looking for a four-door, appears to be dark color, Honda Accord uh, around the 730 hour. Around like 8.30 or so, we saw a number of officers that kind of took off and started heading down the street, and it also sounded like there were some pops. It was hard to tell if those were gunshots or fireworks. Was there anything extra that happened after the shooting took place? So uh, there may have been some gunshots in the area. I'm not sure about that, but officers, you know, were responding to responding to a call. I'm not exactly sure what the call was for. We heard uh, fireworks earlier, and we can kind of see that. But, um, Chief, are you able to say how many people were in that vehicle that you're looking for besides... There was more than one person. We don't know what the exact number is. But All right. not a drive-by. They got out mm -hmm. far enough. Yeah. And uh, I think one other thing that we should add here, too, uh, because uh, right now we're uh, focused on these three, uh, these three victims, obviously, that are deceased at this point, uh, the reward will be up to $75,000.
Uh, so again, we're making a plea to the public, uh, anyone who has information regarding this shooting uh, this evening, to please uh, call us, 202-727-9099. And lastly, Chief, obviously we should speak to the bigger gun issue and yeah. the fact that it is the summertime. I mean, three people now dead, three others injured. Talk to me about kind of what you're going through and officers and what people need to be thinking about as, as summer continues going on. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's very frustrating, and we've been talking about gun violence uh, for a long time. Uh, we know that this issue is not unique to Washington, D.C., but it's, I think it speaks to the overall sickness uh, that we're seeing in our community, and that sickness being gun violence, right? There are people in our communities who are committing these acts, and we're asking for the public's help to close this case, uh, to bring these individuals to justice. Hopefully, someone will be able to look at this uh, image of this vehicle, and in reviewing this image of this vehicle, able to identify someone who was in that vehicle, uh, perhaps at some point today, or yesterday, or the day before. But we're asking them to look very closely at this vehicle. It'll be on our social media channels, uh, as well as we'll be releasing an image uh, to the public. Thank you very much. Can you say how the other three are doing? Their injuries, are they non-life-threatening? Non-life-threatening right now. Thank you.